Happy Wednesday traders, this is Shlomo Cooper and we are with another Wall Street preview ahead of the opening bell. Alright, another day in Wall Street and another high in the indexes. The Dow Jones posted its 41st record close of the year. The S&P 500, this is on a 15 minutes time frame, gained 0.1% to a new all-time high record as well. And you know, it seems that the record machine in Wall Street is working in full force using all of its cylinders. Make sure you stay with me till the end of this video as I'm going to show you a couple of stocks that I and my colleagues in Wall Street are going to put on our screens today with great potential for decent gains in Wednesday's trading. The most notable thing about the action yesterday was the amount of opportunities for the individual traders like you and me. Although the major indexes barely move, there was massive action and strong pockets of hot momentum in individual plays. And let's just see, up, see a couple of them. VBLT. VBLT, this is a five minutes time frame of uh, VBLT up 24% on the day. And just look what a great action. HMNI. HMNI was up yesterday 64%. Lots of opportunities for traders like you and me. And very VERI actually was one of the stocks that I traded uh, yesterday up massively 35% to the upside. I'll just show you uh, where I traded it uh, yesterday. As you may see, there is a cup formation around 11 o'clock uh, Eastern time and a break in the breakout. Actually, I was late to this trade, but what what a great trade that was. That was my best trade for the week so far. I, I used this pullback. Just look how the volume is decreasing when the stock is making this slight pullback back to the R4, this is the fourth level of the pivot point uh, level. My traders know that when we see this kind of action, that tells us that the computerized algorithms in Wall Street are in charge of uh, this play. I use this reversal, this uh, tiny, tiny bar um, to get long on this stock, about 43.21 with a, st uh, with a stop loss just below this bar for a four or five dollars action. And just look how, ma how many other opportunities you had on this play using this hammer, using this uh, hammer, every every hammer for another four or five uh, dollars action. What a great uh, action. Now, also pay attention to a couple of stocks who made huge runs in the last hour of trading yesterday, like RGR. All right, all right, it surged in the late hour together with a spike in the volume. Also, we spotted this kind of action in a stock called AOBC, the same thing, all right? AOBC up 10%, RGR up almost 14%. And these are two names I'm going to put on my screens early in the trading today, as usually there is a continuation of the last of the day soar like this into the action of uh, the next day, all right? After this sort of action, many market players are inclined to start looking for market reversals. They try, you know, to spot the exact peak in the market, the exact top, although good momentum traders should focus on reasons to stick to the trend, to what is working and try to understand why it's working. Just to remind you that extreme buy conditions may turn into more overbought conditions. So. Don't try to call the top in the market because this is a useless practice. Focus on what can go right, what is working. Today we have the Open Committee of the Federal Reserve concluding its two days meeting with the monetary announcement today at two o'clock Eastern time, New York time. This is what we like to call in Wall Street the Fed Day. Now, the Fed is not expected to raise rates following its meeting. However, many market participants believe the central bank will announce the unwinding of its $4.5 trillion portfolio. This is going to be unprecedented and every central bank in the world will be watching how the Fed accomplishes this. 
All right, so the Fed has already raised interest rates twice this year and it expects to hike once more before year end. Right now, market expectations for a December rate hike rose to over 58% uh, yesterday. So this is uh, the Fed Day and as you've heard me say countless times before, the market loves to love the Fed no matter what it says. For those with a bearish inclination, the run over the past week is setting up conditions for a sell the news reaction. But the fact of the matter is that the S&P 500 has historically done very well on Fed days. Throughout history, the S&P has have averaged a daily change of roughly 0.03% on any given trading day. So the index's average move of plus 0.31% specifically on Fed days is nearly tenfold stronger than the normal. This is what I'm taking into today's tradings. So I'm prepared for a bullish action today. The problem for the birds is that the market tends to react favorably to the Fed even when its decisions are highly anticipated. Another interesting setup to consider at this juncture is an old Wall Street saying, sell Rosh Hashanah by Yom Kippur. Rosh Hashanah starts um, today, t t today and uh, Yom Kippur begins the evening on Friday, September 29th. Just take a look on the following chart um, with a couple of recent examples on the S&P 500. As you will see, the red arrow is Rosh Hashanah and the black arrow is Yom Kippur. As you may conclude, it works quite well. So as the Jewish high holidays are set to start, the mantra is derived from the fact that with many traders and investors busy with religious observance, and family positions are closed out and volume fades creating a buying vacuum now this aphorism is just another play on the well-known negative seasonality that occurs in the later half of uh, september and we talked about it uh, yesterday and it has some predictive success as i discussed yesterday the current week tends to be the weakest week of the year and if we run up into and on the Fed decision today, it will be a very strong setup for some profit taking over the next week to uh, 10 days. All right, let's take a quick, t uh, a quick look on a couple of big movers after the closing bell yesterday that are going to be on our screens uh, today. First of all, uh, we had Bed, Bath and Beyond. I'll just switch to the uh, aftermarket, uh, aftermarket action, all right? So as you can see with me, this is the huge fall of uh, the stock. It was down almost 13% 13 after hours, and this is uh, after the company reported same store sales that fell more than expected and offered weak guidance. Also, FedEx delivered its earnings um, in the extended uh, session, uh, this is the reaction to the earnings report of the company, which includes the negative impact of Hurricane uh, Harvey. FedEx down 1.4%, and we will want to uh, try to have some plays on it uh, today. The last one is Adobe, ADBE, which is down more than 3% in the after hours session. Although the company topped Wall Street earnings uh, expectations, maybe this is a reaction in the style, in the fashion of sell the news. Thank you all very, very much for watching. Have a great trading day and I'll see you in the next video. Bye bye.